This company employs more than 168,000 people worldwide, more than 2,000 right here in West Michigan. This company is a global technology and industrial leader, creating quality products, services, and solutions from energy efficiency in buildings to batteries and seats and cars. They are recognized around the world for their technology and innovation, including a visit by the President of the United States to their advanced manufacturing facility in Holland, Michigan. We make it here, right here in West Michigan. My name is Elizabeth Rolinski, and I work for Johnson Controls. When I was in middle school, I enjoyed all my classes, but especially the math and science classes. Elizabeth, what do you do here? I am Vice President of Engineering Operations, so that's manufacturing engineering and product engineering, bringing those two together to engineer a product on time, at the right cost, with systems that ensure our customers getting what they expect to get. And what do you make here at Johnson Controls? Well, in the plant we're standing at, Meadowbrook, we were actually the first facility in the country to be producing lithium-ion batteries and full battery systems for hybrid and electric vehicles. It's very exciting to be on the edge of a new industry like that. What happened after high school? The day after my graduation weekend, I uh, went to General Motors where I had a co-op opportunity uh, to the General Motors Proving Grounds. I think it really opened my eyes to how fun um, the world of technology can be when you get out of the classroom and doing calculus and into you know, working on noise and vibration models and that kind of thing and really seeing how it all applies. Andy Brown was in middle school in the 1980s, Johnson Controls was already developing technology for electric vehicles. Andy, what do you do here? I'm the lead process tech for the plant. I'm in charge of the guys that go out and make sure that the machines are running and making good product. What did you want to be when you grew up? My goal was to be a Marine. Did you fulfill your goal? I did. I went into the Marines and served four years. What are you most grateful for for your experience in your time in the military? The personal discipline to know what you have to do and do it and follow through. What advice do you have for young students who are interested in a job like yours one day? Develop your learning skills, whether it's your ability to study and retain the information or just to go out and get the training. When Chris Banks was in middle school in the early 1990s, Johnson Control was expanding its automotive battery business. Chris, what do you do here? I am a quality technician here at Johnson Controls. And what does that mean? What that means is I retrieve samples and I do data collection and I make sure that the results are given to the department in which I work in. What were some of your favorite subjects and what did you like to do in school? Well, what I liked to do was I played basketball and also I was a part of the orthography club. <laughs> I kind of laugh about that now, but you know, when I was a kid, I loved to spell. <laughs> Has any of those skills helped you in your career path? Actually, yes, because uh, with orthography, just like anything else in quality, it's all about detail. Math was a huge one because math was like my favorite subject. It's all about problem solving. And you know, in quality, you have to be able to do that. Not only just point out what the problem is, but actually assist in root causing the issue. was in middle school two decades before Johnson Controls started producing lithium-ion batteries right here at this facility in Holland, Michigan. Jack, what do you do here? I manage uh, advanced manufacturing for lithium-ion batteries. Advanced manufacturing is the development or the process of designing the machines that make the batteries. What other training did you have to get to where you are today? I went into college. I did two degrees. I did a degree in automotive technology, and then I finished that with a degree in mechanical engineering and design. What's your favorite part of your job? I work with a great bunch of people. Uh, they all have the same passions. They love to build. They love to solve these problems. And you're trying to find this optimal solution that provides the future, right? You're, you're working on things that will impact people's lives. And we get to do it through our imagination. We learned today that some forms of manufacturing look a lot different than you might expect, and that it takes many different roles and talents to produce a state-of-the-art battery. Business, chemistry, physics, communications, and math are just a few of the subjects that influence the thinking to power vehicles around the world. 
and will help you go a long way at Johnson Controls.